What's up, YouTubes? Welcome back to the channel, where today I want to talk to you about that burning question. A lot of you beginning bowlers, a lot of the people who have never really gone bowling that much, you want to learn how to curve the ball. Well, I'm going to show you some of the easy ways, the quick ways to learn how to curve the ball, whether you use your thumb or whether you don't use your thumb. I'm going to give you some quick tips here in a minute. Stay tuned. All right, guys, welcome back. Here's some quick tips on how to learn how to curve the ball. For those of you who've not really gone bowling a whole lot, but you want to be able to impress your friends, you want to know how to curve the ball, make the ball hook the entire lane, I'm going to show you how to do that. But first, we got to find a bowling ball that you can actually use. Now, first, we're going to start with somebody who's not going to use their thumb. Sometimes people find it easier to just put their two fingers in and put the palm of their hand on the ball so they can just cup it, hold it up underneath, and be able to rotate the ball from there and curve it down the lane. What you're looking for is you don't want to just be able to put the tips of your fingers in we want more control we want our palm to sit on the ball so we want to be able to go all the way down to that second knuckle it's what they call a conventional type of grip go all the way down to that second knuckle so then your palm sits down on the ball and it sits up like this okay so once we find some holes we obviously want to figure out the size so like this is uh waterford um oh shoot i don't even know what size it is but anyway pay attention to what size it is whether it's a medium some of them have a, actually this has an l on it right so this is actually the large size so large a lot of them will have an s and an m and an l small medium large some will have xl as far as the hole sizes go as far as the weight goes you want to be able to hold the most heavy bowling ball you can because the more weight you can throw the better chance of knocking down those pins is it. a 15 pound ball is going to knock down more pins than a 14 13 12 and so on so you should be able to hold your arm out just like this elbow into your side put a ball in your hand if you can hold a ball like this for five seconds without feeling like you're going to drop it that's a good weight if it feels too light go up and try again until you find a ball that after five seconds it starts to get heavy because let's be honest all the way through the swing it's not going to be that heavy um, because it's only a couple of seconds being on your hand so the next thing you want to do is obviously look for the thumb if you're going to use a thumb find a thumb that just goes in and it just feels comfortable and it feels like it'll come right out right away so that's just what we're going to do now let's take it get to the meat and the gravy and the potatoes of this video and we're going to show you how to curve it all right, guys, so now we, on a, we, now we got a ball that fits us. We can put our fingers into the right proper spot and we can, uh, we can feel comfortable with the ball that we have. Now, how are we gonna make it curve the lane? Well, what we wanna focus on is the spin that we put on the ball, okay? So we wanna try to figure out where we can stand. If you're looking from behind, I'm gonna do it with the thumb first. If you're looking from behind, we're going to, you don't wanna spin this way, all right? We don't wanna to top it. We don't wanna spin it that way. What we wanna do is we wanna think of our fingers. You can see where my fingers are right here at the bottom being below the equator. So if there's an equator on this ball, like the earth, the equator of the earth on this ball, the fingers wanna be below it. Then what you wanna do is as the ball comes through, you rotate your fingers to the side and let the ball just come off your hand that way. So if you watch, when I do that and I go this way and spin off the side, the ball will have side rotation and it will hit the dry and it will curve. You see how much that ball is gonna curve all the way across the lane? Obviously now once we have that ball ready to, obviously once we have that ball curving like that, now we just adjust our speed. We just pick up our speed, we get it to go faster down the lane so that way we can control that curve. If you're not gonna use your thumb, the technique is basically the same thing, except now, you're really cupping it underneath because you gotta be able to hold it underneath here. So the same thing, your fingers are gonna be even further under the equator, and then you're gonna rotate your fingers from here across the side just like that, and you're gonna rotate it that way, just like that again, and it's just gonna curve all the way across the lane because there's no dry boards in the middle of the lane. All the dry boards are to the outside part of the lane, so when you throw them to the dry, it's gonna hook. Okay, so pay attention to these things when we do it, and so that way you know where to adjust. So for me, if I'm gonna adjust my curve on that without using fingers, I'm gonna move all the way over to the left, and I'm gonna throw it in the middle. I'm gonna throw it across the lane so that way it curves back right into the pocket to give you something like that. Now let's try the same thing, and we'll adjust with our thumb in the ball this time. Again, you gotta remember there's oil in the middle and there's none to the draw and none to the outside. So we gotta take that and use it to our advantage. So now with my thumb in the ball, obviously I'm swinging it here. As I stand here, it's gonna be the same type of thing. The rotation in the middle. 
throw it over to the dry and it'll curve back. Oh, see, still not fast enough. I didn't throw it fast enough as what I did before. So remember, when we're doing this, we just wanna think of our hand being here. If our thumb's in it, it's gonna be swing and then rotate this way where our hand is to the side. If our fingers are not it or our thumb's not in it, it's gonna be the same thing. Fingers just get off to the side and you're just gonna rotate over there. All right, so there you go. There's a couple of tips real quick on how to spin the ball just to get it to curve a little bit so you can impress your friends the next time you guys go bowling. So I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure to hit that like, subscribe. If you want other bowling tips, make sure to find all the other ones throughout my channel. If you want to get better at bowling, there's a lot of more advanced type techniques that you can learn as well. This is just something basic just to get you to learn how to spin it just a little bit. There are proper ways to do it, but for now, just learn this little basic trick and you'll wow your friends curving the entire lane. We'll see you guys later.